Welcome back to a new episode of Swabby. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a write on text animation. Just like that. It's actually pretty easy and it should not take you more than a couple minutes for the first time that you try at least. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a new fusion composition. And we're gonna go in. And you actually do not need much to do this. Let me show you. You only need a text node. And okay, let's just write it on. Let's write Suave as always. Let's connect it to the media out. This is a very simple thing there and we're gonna change the font let's see um mistral okay this one has a more like a write-on style you know like those travel videos usually use this type of effects okay so let's just cut the chase okay the thing that we're gonna do is add a mask paint note to our text note and it's actually gonna cover everything. And if you paint, you're gonna be able to see it, but we don't need that. We need to go here to the mask and we need to invert it so then we can see it. So the next thing to do is to adjust the size of our brush. Oops. And we have to go to the stroke here, to that tool. So we are able to find this, the animation, the stroke animation, which is what we are going to use to do this. So let's go and write, go choose write on animation. And then you select where you want it to start. And you got to make sure to hold your click when you're doing this. Let's just, uh, let's see if I can make it a little bit. Let's adjust the tracking a little bit. So it's easier to do this for the tutorial's sake. And then we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there it goes. So now when I click, it's gonna start recording all the frames automatically. You, you might not be able to see it at first, but let me show you. Okay, one thing I forgot before I make this mistake again you have to put the softness softness to zero. Otherwise you're going to be able to see like, like you saw it right there that it doesn't actually take everything. Okay. Let's do it again. Whoop. Okay. And then you can see all the keyframes right there. So it's actually, it's actually gonna take really long if you let it like that. So what you have to do is go to your keyframes and then we're gonna zoom out pressing control and then rolling our mouse little wheel, the mouse wheel. And we're gonna select all of these keyframes. We're gonna right click and then we're gonna use the time stretching. So what this is gonna do is gonna make you, give you the option to control the speed of the animation. So let's say eight, let's make it to 24. So that's 16 frames if I'm not wrong, if my math is not wrong. So let's see. Okay. But this is actually deleting it. So what we need to do again is go back to the mask and then press invert. So now what's going to happen is there it goes. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go and add a video track or whatever. And then we simply add it, let it, of course it has to render. And once it renders, that's pretty much it. So now you can do this title and add it to all your travel videos or even if you have clients that want you to edit a travel video and have this style of, font, of titles. Well, I hope this was helpful and that you learned something new today. I will see you next time in Suave. Oh, and before I leave, I want to mention this. I'm going to do a 30 by 30 challenge. It's going to be 30, 30 titles in 30 days. And I'm going to 
show you the intro to that series that I'm going to do right now. Roll the intro. Okay, that's actually it then. All right, hopefully I'm able to do this challenge and do 30 titles in 30 days. I will see you next time in Suave.